Hi everyone, my name is B Boy Snatch on TV. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'll give you guys my AEW Dynamite review on Hollis. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more wrestling content. Follow my social media down below in the description. And let's get started. Now AEW Dynamite was a pretty good show, and that's all I gotta say from here. Alright. It's Wednesday, you know what that means. So we get a tag team match. So we get Orange Cassidy and Will Osprey versus Trent Beretta. And AEW National Champion Roderick Strong, accompanied by Undisputed Kingdom, Matt Taven, and Mike Bennett. This was a good tag team match. All right, Will Ospreay will start the match against Roderick Strong. The bell rings, and Orange Cassidy gets gets off the apron and goes after Trent Beretta. In the ring, Roderick Strong takes it to Will Ospreay, but Will Ospreay takes it takes him down and hits Trent Beretta with a plancha. Cassidy goes to the top rope and hits Roderick Strong with a crossbody block. Cassidy hits a suicide dive on Trent Beretta. Will Ospreay then comes off the top rope with a diving clothesline on Roger Strong for a two count. Will Ospreay goes for a move, but Matt Taven slides the AEW International Championship in the ring. Will Ospreay kicks it away, and Roger Strong takes him down. Um, Trent Beretta tags in and is, and is not happy with Will Ospreay. Trent Beretta punches at Will Ospreay. But Will Ospreay punches back. Trent Beretta quickly hits a back elbow and tags Roger Strong in. Roger Strong punches and stumps Will Ospreay. Roger Strong punches Will Ospreay in the corner and chops him. The crowd is willing Will Ospreay, Will, willing Ospreay on. Will Ospreay punches back, but Roger Strong hits a drop kick for a one count. Roger Strong quickly hooks a weird, a weird chin lock. Will Ospreay fights up, but Roger Strong cuts him off with a knee to the midsection. Roger Strong lifts him. Um, Will Ospreay slides off and sends him into the ropes for a back body drop. Orange Cassidy tags in and jumps over Roger Strong before punching Trent Beretta. Orange Cassidy goes for a satellite DDT, but Roger Strong gets out. Uh, Roger Strong sends him to the corner, but Orange Cassidy goes to the apron. Orange Cassidy bounces him off off both turnbuckles before going to the top rope. Trent Beretta sweeps Cassidy's leg. Roger Strong hits a gut buster on the turnbuckles. Trent Beretta grabs Orange Cassidy and goes for a power driver on the steel steps, but Will Ospreay puts, puts a stop to it. Roger Strong takes Will Ospreay down and hits Orange Cassidy with a back suplex on the apron. Trent Beretta then takes Cassidy out with a spear. So we go to commercial break. Back from back from the break, Orange Cassidy is getting fired up. Orange Cassidy with his hands in his pockets. He's his Roger Strong with a drop kick. Orange Cassidy scouts over the scouts to his corner and tags Will Spray in. Trent Beretta is also tagging. Will Spray hits some punches. Trent Beretta reverse a whip. But, but Will Ospreay hits a running for him. Roger Strong comes in, but Will Ospreay takes him and takes him and Trent Beretta down with a backflip kick for a two count on Trent Beretta. Will Ospreay charges him in the corner, but Trent Beretta sidesteps him. Trent Beretta goes for a tornado DDT, but Will Ospreay puts the brakes on. Trent Beretta quickly comes back and comes back in with a half Nelson suplex. Roderick Strong tags in, but Will Ospreay um, catches him with a pin attempt. Roger Strong goes back and forth with strikes before hitting a modified flapjack for a two count. Will Ospreay gets out of a suplex and, and tucks his head in the corner for a super kick. Orange Cassidy tags in. Will Ospreay hits an electric chair into a power bomb, followed by a twister, twister off the second rope. Orange Cassidy hits, hits a top rope. Elbow drop for a two count. Orange Cassidy gets the crowd going, but Trent Beretta grabs the ankle. Orange Cassidy knocks him back, knocks him back, but Roger Strong cuts him off. Roger Strong has him on the top rope and sets up for a superplex. Will Ospreay runs over and knocks Roger Strong off the middle rope. Trent Beretta goes for a German suplex off the second rope, but Will Ospreay backflips through. Orange Cassidy hits Trent Beretta with a diving tornado DDT. Um, Roger Strong attacks Will Ospreay and hits the ropes, but Will Ospreay hits a bad flip, bad flip draw kick, and, and a step up in Suguri. Orange Cassidy hits Roger Strong with a tornado DDT and covers, but Trent Beretta um, knocks Will Ospreay onto him to break up the pin.
The crowd chants, this is awesome. Tremperetta tries to remove the top turnbuckle pad, but the referee stops him. Roger Strong grabs Orange Cassidy, but Don Callis gets off commentary and pulls Orange Cassidy away. Orange Cassidy hits his stung dog millionaire on Roger Strong. Will Ospreay follows up with an Os Cutter. Trent, uh, Trent, Bur Mike Bennett and Matt Taven get in the ring and charge, but Will Ospreay pulls the top rope down to get them out of the ring. Will Ospreay takes them out with a somersault at the same time. Warlow then runs down and close lines Will Ospreay in the back of their head. The referee apparently didn't see it. Orange Cassidy goes for an orange punch on Roger Strong, but Roger Strong ducks and Roger Strong ducks. Trent Beretta hits a running knee strike. Roger Strong follows up with the end of heart, heart attack for the win. The winner of the match by pin for Trent Beretta and the AEW National Champion, Roger Strong. This was a good tag team match. All right, let's move on. Will Ospreay is, is put in the ring, and the Undisputed Kingdom is beating both him and Cassidy. Wallow gets in the ring. Roger Strong hits Will Ospreay with, in the head with a with the AEW National Championship. Trent Beretta is choking Orange Cassidy out on the rim. Will Ospreay is busted wide open. Roger Strong is talking trash to him. Roger Strong hooks Will Ospreay's head and hits ends up harder. Heart attack. Watch your strong celebrates with the undisputed kingdom. Okay, let's move on. So we get a backstage segment. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson are standing backstage with security. They are barring. They are barring Darby Allen from the building. They want to have the safest locker room in the in the business. Sanjay Dutt comes up to them and commands them for taking care of problems. They took care of two two out of three thirds of their problems with Lance Archer. His Indian, Indian giant will destroy the American dragon. Um, Sanjay Dutt tells them to make sure the money is in the envelope. All right, so we get the Bang Bang Gang address Pac. Unified World Trio champion, the Bang Bang Gang head to the ring. Um, Jay White says the crowd is lucky to see the greatest three-man team in the business. Jay White knows what they want, and the Bang Bang Gang pose for the crowd. Jay White is confused about how to say Pac's name. Jay White says Pac has made three big mistakes. When the Bang Bang Gang is strolling down the corridor doors, he should go to the other way. He should go the other way. Instead, he looked at them with that face. Mistake number two was when they were handling business in the ring a few few weeks ago. An ugly, um, you know what, stuck his ugly face where it didn't belong. Um, he, his biggest mistake of all was begging them to, begging him to make him make him care. They gave him what he asked for. Pac appears, yeah, Pac appears on the screen. Pac says they warmed him up a little bit. He's not even mad. He did provoke them three on one. It's unfair. It's unfair though. Pac introduced his amigos. Okay, the lights go out and in the arena. Ray Phoenix and Penta L Zero join Pac. Dev Triangle is back. They charge in. They charge the ring and take it to the Bang Bang Gang. They stumble away at them in the corner and clear the ring. Dev Triangle stands tall in the ring. Pac grabs a microphone, a, du a double or nothing. They want the Unified World Trio Champion. Okay, great to see Dev Triangle back. Ray Phoenix look huge. That that should be a fun match on Sunday. All right, let's just continue. MTW Champion. The Learning Tree, Chris Jericho, heads to the commentary table with Big Bill. Chris Jericho and Taz disagree about whether FTW stands for stands for, for the world or something else. Okay. So we get the number one contenders triple threat match. Hook versus the Bounty, Bounty Hunter, Brian Keeps versus the Rasa Kajiri Shibata. And this uh, triple threat match. It was just, it was just decent, decent triple threat match. 
The bell rings and Keith takes it takes it right to Hook with a boot. Shibata chops away at Keith in the corner, but Hook pulls uh, pulls him away and punches away at Keith. Hook and Shibata go face to face before Keith takes him down. Keith punches punches Hook back, but Hook hits a takedown. Hook grabs goes for a submission. So does submission. So does Shibata, but Keith escapes with a double jawbreaker. Shibata attacks Hook before Keith hits a suplex on him. Hook suplex Keith and Shibata take takes Hook down. So we go to commercial break. Back from the break, Keith hits Hook with a double under the power bomb. One two. Shibata breaks it up. Shibata hits Hook with a running boot in the corner. Shibata hit then hits Keith with a running boot. Shibata punches away at Keith before hitting Hook and Keith with running basement drop kicks. Shibata hits a snaps. A snap suplex on Keith and covers, but Hook breaks it up. Hook connects with a T-bone suplex on Shibata. Hook grabs Keith and applies a test mission, but Keith black, um, backs him into the corner. Hook grabs him, but Keith headbutts him down. Keith hits diamond dust on Hook, and Shibata stuns Keith with a penalty kick. Shibata hits a backbreak on Keith and applies a heel hook. Hook runs in and applies a tax mission. Keep taps out to both men. The referee calls calls for calls the match for the both men. The winners by submission, Hook and Kajiri Shibata. Now the truth that match was decent, but the ending terrible. The ending was terrible to me. But it could have been only one winner. But Hook and she Hook and Kajiri Shibata won the truth that match. Which the ending was, which the ending was terrible. That's all I gotta say. But let me continue. Okay, the crowd chants let them fight. Chris Jericho gets on the microphone and asks Goofy. Chris Jericho says he wanted to get a little camera time. Jericho says the two winners on a double submission makes his job a little harder. But such, such is life. Chris Jericho says he's proud of them both for picking up so much from the learning tree and being part of the Chris Jericho vortex. Um, Chris Jericho says he's just getting started. He'll leave Las Vegas as the champion. He's not losing to anyone ever. Anyone ever. Chris Jericho currently um, says, thanks guys. Super goofy trooper threat match. Brian, Brian Keith's gimmick is awful. The finish didn't go over well. With the crowd, AEW Dynamite. The ending was terrible, but the truth, that match was decent. Come on, oh, I'm sorry, video package. TBS Chapman Will and Nine Gal versus Mercedes Monet at AEW Double or Nothing. Now, question is 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 Willow going to retain the TBS champion to, at AEW Double or Nothing? Or will, or, or are they going to have Mercedes Monet take the title, the TBS title? TBS champion off of Willow Nightingale. I don't know, but we have to see you this Sunday. Okay, let me continue. Commercial break. Video package. IWGP champion John Mossy versus Kanushke Takesha in an eliminator match at AEW Double or Nothing. Okay, so we get Kanushke Takeshka accompanied by Don Callis versus Matt Seidel. This was a squash match. The bell rings in Takeshka knees and clubs Matt Seidel down. Um, Takeshka grabs the head and squeezes a bit. Takeshka hits a net snapper before connecting with a brain buster. K Takeshka goes for a back suplex, but Matt Seidel counters it to a hurricane. Matt Seidel hits a lower drop kick and a DDT. Matt Seidel goes to the top rope, but he jumps over Takeshka. Takeshka connects with a blue thunderbomb. Takeshka crushes him with a forearm, forearm for the win. The winner of the match by pinfall, Kanushka Takeshka. This was a squash match. All right. After the match, Kanushka Takeshka helped Matt Seidel up, only to make him, only to take him down with a release German suplex. Don Callis likes what he is seeing. Takeshka stomps away at Matt Seidel. IWGP Warrior Heavyweight Champion John Mosley music hits, and he comes in in the ring. Through the crowd, John Marty has a microphone and stands up to 
Kanusuke to catch him. John Moxley goes to speak, but he instead smashes him with the microphone. John Moxley knees over, kneels over him and says, I see you at double or nothing. John Moxley celebrates in the ring. So we go backstage, backstage segment. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson continue to hand out flyer, flyers, uh, flyers with Darby Allen's image. They tell everyone they're banning him from the building. AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland constantly come up to them and wrinkles one of the fillers and says he's says his match is next. So we get a non-title match. AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland versus Nick Wayne. And this match right here, this was a okay match for what it was. It was just okay for what it was, but I'm glad Swerve Strickland won. Replay on showing up the brutal attack on Swerve Strickland last week. He he was hit with the with a portrait of his family and Christian Cage robbed robbed the photo and his blood. And my only issue was this. What did Christian Cage do to deserve an AEW World Championship match? Absolutely nothing. That's all I gotta say. The bell rings and Nick Wayne talks trash before a bailing out of the ring. Swerve Strickland follows him out, but Nick Wayne gets in the ring. They do this a few times before Swerve Strickland tricks him. Swerve Strickland sends him into the lead barricade and takes his belt off before whipping away at Wayne's rear end and back. The crowd chants one more time, so Swerve Strickland blazes them. Swerve Strickland pulls him into the apron and tries to bang him on the turnbuckles connector, but Nick Wayne blocks it. Swerve Strickland sends him into the ring and hits a snap drop kick. Nick Wayne um, soon puts him on the apron and bounces him off the turnbuckle con connector. Nick Wayne kicks him in the chest from the apron and goes for a moonsault off the second rope. But Swerve Strickland catches him. Nick Wayne then counters into a tornado DT on the floor. So we go to commercial break. We come back from the break to see Swerve Strickland chop Nick Wayne in the corner. Swerve Strickland takes him down and goes for a suplex, but Nick Wayne needs him in the head. Nick Wayne sends the AEW World Champion out of the ring and goes to the second rope. Swerve Strickland cuts him off and hits a back suplex off the second rope and onto the apron. Swerve Strickland gets on the apron and, and looks down at Nick Wayne, who is written, who is rendering in pain for the on the floor. Swerve Strickland then crushes him with a double stomp. Um, Swerve Strickland gets Nick Wayne in the ring and slowly heads to the top rope. Swerve Strickland goes for another double kick, but Nick Wayne counters with an upper kick. Nick Wayne rolls him up and puts his feet on the ropes for, for a two count. Nick Wayne connects with a rolling thunder code red for a near fall. Nick Wayne talks a little trash and charge, but Swerve Strickland blocks a kick. Swerve Strickland hits a backbreaker, followed by a beautiful power slam. Swerve Strickland says he's sorry and he and hits a house call for the win. The winner of the match by pinfall, AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland. And this was a okay match for what it was. Kill switch attacks Swerve Strickland from behind. Christian Cage makes his way down to the ring with Shayna Wayne. Swerve Strickland gets the better of Kill Switch and chase Christian Cage to the back. Christian Cage gets in an SUV and tries to drive off, but a black SUV stops him. It's driven by Prince Nada. Swerve Strickland pulls Christian Cage out of a car and attacks him. Christian Cage pulls Strickland into a car and climbs to the roof of his car. Christian Cage and Swerve Strickland fight on the roof of the car before Swerve Strickland hits a DDT. Chris Nana hands Swerve Strickland a steel chair. Swerve Strickland goes for a contrary to on the hood of the car, but Christian Cage escapes. Um, pretty good match with Swerve Strickland and Nick Wayne. Big spot for the young man. Good post match angle with Christian Cage, who's long lived T, long lived uh, Liberty as amazing. Good to see Prince Nada back. Yeah, it was good to see Prince Nada back. But that match was okay for what it was. So we'll go to commercial break. So we'll get my, my, 
Malachi Black versus um, Kyle O'Reilly. Now, this match right here, I'm gonna say this was this was a good match. Good match for me. Good match. Good match right here. The bell rings and they stand across the ring from a, one another from a few moments, S sizing each other up. They circle the ring and friend jab and and kicks. Black grabs Kyle Riley and press him into the ropes before giving a clean break. The costly approach one another again, and Kyle Riley grabs the wrist. Black, uh, Malachi Black gets out of the, gets out and they trade some kicks before talk before taking each other down with serial knees to the gut. They get to their feet and Malachi Black hooks a side headlock. Kyle Riley whips him off, but Malachi Black shoulder tackles him. Um, Malachi Black takes him down with a pair of knees and heads to the ropes for a springboard. But Kyle Riley kicks kicks the legs out. Kyle Riley takes it to Malachi Black before Malachi Black sweeps the legs. Malachi Black kicks O'Reilly in the legs for with a few times before kneeing him in the face. Kyle Riley falls out of the ring. So we go to commercial break. We come back from the break to see. Kyle Riley apply, applying a cross arm breaker, but Malachi Black gets out. Malachi Black grabs a race lock, but Kyle Riley fights out with a race lock. Uh, with, with the wrist lock, Malachi Black kicks Kyle Riley back, but Kyle Riley tries to fight back with a rebound clothesline. Malachi Black blocks a blocks it and goes for a suplex, but Kyle Riley needs him needs him in the head. Kyle Riley kicks him a few times before hitting an arm wrench slam. Kyle Riley avalanches him in the corner, but Malachi Black fights back. Kyle Riley comes back with a snap jumper suplex. Kyle Riley hits a rolling elbow for a two count. The crowd appreciates appreciates what they what they see. Kyle Riley kicks away at Malachi Black, who who is still on the mat. Malachi Black gets to his feet. And Kyle Riley catches him with a with a kick in the ribs. Malachi Black starts to strike back, and they get into a beautiful strike exchange. Kyle Riley takes him down and goes for a cross arm cross arm breaker. Malachi Black fights it, so Kyle Riley applies an ankle lock. Malachi Black is in a lot of pain, but he is pulls himself up in a last ditch effort and knees him in the face. Malachi Black hits a brain buster for a near fall. Malachi Black shakes his head in frustration. Malachi Black grabs Kyle Riley, but Kyle Riley needs him and stomps the head. Kyle Riley strikes away at him before Malachi Black fakes a kick and surprises him with the end for the win. The winner of the match, Malachi Black. This was a good match. Okay, the lights in the arena start flashing red before stopping. Malachi Black then gets drenched with a bloodbath. TNT champion Adam Copeland appear on the screen and laughs as he tells Malachi Black to be careful what he wish for. Hey, this groom, this groom, bald lady, this lady, Black gets out of, of the ring. Fantastic match with Malachi Black and Kyle Riley match like they are why I love pro wrestling. The bloodbath on Malachi Black after was goofy, but they're pushing this bomb. Broad, this broad thing with Adam Copeland, so it is what it is. So it is what it is from the sub to, sub line to the ridiculous. Okay, hashtag AW Dynamite. Let's move on. Commercial break. The Elite versus FTR, Darby Allen and the American Dragon. Brian, American Dragon, Brian Down, Brian Downs and the RC in the arena at AW Double or Nothing. The commentaries run down the rest of the AEW Double or Nothing card. Tag team match, AEW Women's World Champion, Timeless Tony Storm and Mariah May versus the outcast Shan Soraya and Harley Harley Cameron. And this tag team match right here, this was a um this was a decent match. Decent. This tag team match was decent. It would be Mariah May starting against Harley Cameron to start the match. May, Mariah May grabs a race light, but Cameron reverses it. May takes her down and forms her. Cameron goes to the apron and shoulders, shoulder, shoulders her back. Cameron hits the ropes, but Mariah May follows her in and hits a sweep 
followed by a basement drop kick. Mara May hits a spinning sidewalk slam before lifting her. Cameron slides off and retreats to her corner. Soraya tags in and she points at the AEW Women's World Champion Tony Storm. Tony Storm tags in. Soraya and Tony Storm exchange forms before Tony Storm sends her into the ropes for a loud Lute Express Storm punches away at her and tags Mara May in. Tony Storm school slams Mara May onto Soraya for a two count. Tony Storm tags back in. Mara May tries to slam Tony Storm, but she couldn't lift her. Tony Storm slams Mara May into Soraya and drops an elbow for a two count. Mara May tags back in and hits a snap mirror, followed by a knee to the face. Cameron runs in and wildly attacks Mara, Mara May. Soraya stumps. Stunts Mariah May and does some jumping jacks. Commercial break. Back from the break. Yeah, back from the break. Tony Storm runs wild on Soraya and Cameron. Tony Storm sends Cameron and Soraya into each other in the corner. Um, Tony Storm hits Cameron with a sky high, but Soraya breaks up the pin. Um, Tony Storm pull, puts Cameron in the, in the top rope. On the opposite corner, Mariah May puts Cameron on the top rope. Soraya and Cameron attempt stereo sunset, sunset flip power bombs, but they mistime it. Tony Storm and Mariah May each Tony Storm and Mariah May each kiss Soraya and Cameron on the lips. Tony Storm hits Soraya with Storm Zero, while Mariah May hits Cameron with a May Day. Tony Storm hits Cameron with the Storm Zero for the win. The winner by pinfall. AEW Women's World Champion Timeless Tony Storm and Mariah May, and this was a this was a um, decent tag team match. Serena D runs in and hits Luther with a chair to the spine. Serena D takes out Mar 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 Mariah May and hits Tony Storm with a high heel shoe to the head. Serena D puts the chair on Tony Storm and applies a single leg crab over the chair. Tony Storm screams in pain and taps out. AEW referee runs down and gets Serena Deeb off of Tony Storm. So these two are going to be battling each other at AEW Double Nothing for the AEW Women's World Champion. I think I got Serena Deeb. Serena Deeb is going to take the title off of Timeless Tony Storm. But we'll see. We'll see. Backstage, Bang Bangs, Bang Bang Gang backstage are not sweating. Dev Triangle, they agree to a non title match at AEW Double or nothing. Okay, so we get the main event of the evening the American Dragon Brian Donaldson versus Statnam, Statnam Sign, accompanied by Sanjay Dutt, Jeff Jarrett, and Jay Lethal. And this main event match right here, this was a, um, this was, this match was. Solid. This was a solid match for what it was. The visual of of the size different differential is amazing. Stand up sign shoves Danielson back and yes champ picks up. Stand up sign grabs Danielson and throws him to the corner. Danielson kicks away at Stand Up Sign and climbs the ropes. But Stand Up Sign shoves him back and hits a big boob. Stand up sign bounces Daniel off the top turnbuckle. Stand up sign chops the chest and Brian Downson collapsed the collapse in pain. Stand up sign hits a delayed vertical suplex. Brian Downson rolls out of the ring to recover. Stand up sign follows him out and sends him into the steps. Sunday Judge Sunday Doug clears the commentary table and it and it collapsed like paper. Um Brian Downson quickly takes control and is clear from Stand Up Sign's face. He panicking over the over this big spot being Ruin. Um, Brian Downson kicks him for the apron and charge. Stand up sign soon chokes him on the on the apron. Stand up sign gets in the ring and puts a foot on Brian Downson's chest in the Brian Downson's chest to pin him for a one count. Sanjay Dutt take tries to take the turnbuckle pad off, so stand up sign walks over and rips at rips it off. The referee stops standing up sign from bouncing Brian Downson on the exposed turnbuckle. The referee yells at Sanjay Dutt and, and Brian Downson low blow standing up sign. Brian Downson hits a bazooka knee 
into a into an exposed turnbuckle. Brian Dancer backs up and charges, but Daniel Sangrai sound by the throat. Brian Dancer kicks him in the knee and kicks away at the chest. Brian Dancer hits a kick to the head, but Stanum Sign doesn't feel it. Stanum Sign chops the chest and goes for a suplex, but Brian Dancer elbows away at the head. Brian Dancer gets him in the gets him on the mat and struggles to apply the Lee Bell lock on the big man, but he is ultimately successful. Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal run in and attack Brian Downson. The winner by disqualification, the American Dragon, Brian Downson. And like I said, that main event match was just, that was a solid main event match, what it was. Okay, Jeff Jarrett goes to hit Brian Downson with the guitar, but he stops when Brian Downson moves. Brian Downson hits Jay Lethal with a bazooka knee and takes Jeff Jarrett down. Brian Downson grabs the guitar and threatens, but Threatens to hit Sanji Dub, but Staten Up Sign obliterates the guitar with their right hand. They take it to Brian Downson. AEW World Tag Team Champions Matt, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson come to the ring and hand over the envelope full of cash. Staten Up Sign, Sanji Dub, Jeff Jarrett, and Jay Lee to lead the ring. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson stop Brian Downson in the corner before pulling him to the center of the ring. Um, um, CM Punk Chance. Pick up Brian Downson, a voice and EVP trigger, and kicks away at the at the Jacksons. Um, Brian Downson punches away at Matthews at Matthew Jackson, AEW Continental Champion Kazuchi Kaz, Kazuchi. Uh, what's his name? Kazu Kazuchi Kazuchi Okada. Yeah. Kazuku, Kazu, I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to get this right. Kazuchika Okada come out, and Jack Perry attacks um, Brian Downson from behind. Okada hits Brian Downson with the Rainmaker. Okay, the Jacksons pull Brian Downson out of the ring and drags him up the ramp. Okada reveals, uh, reveals a table set up on the floor. They set up for a powerbomb off the stage. But Darby Allen is showing arriving at the arena on the screen. Tony Khan is driving the vehicle. They could have powerbomb Brian Dancing off the ramp a few times at this point. Darby Allen walk out of walk out with a flamethrower. Brian Dancing then flips Nicholas off the ramp and throws the table. Darby Allen and Brian Dancing stand tall on the ramp with the flamethrower going off. Matthew Matthew's side was busted open from going through the table. Always a great to always great to watch Brian Downson work, especially with someone that many will struggle to have a match with match with one of the best of all time. Hashtag AEW Dynamite and it says the post match attack was epic. Still weird that AEW booked an angle that nearly encouraged the crowd to chant for someone in the other promotion. That the Matthew and Nicholas stuff is so over the top that it comes off as total camp. It short of hurts the story for me. Hashtag AEW Dynamite. Overall, overall, this was a good episode of AEW Dynamite with some good action. And a good final build up to Sunday show. And um AEW Dynamite goes off the air. Alright, let me get my honest opinion. Now AEW Dynamite was a pretty good show for what it was. It was just a pretty good show for what it was. Um if you guys enjoyed my AEW Dynamite review on high please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what do you guys think of AEW Dynamite. Um I'm so excited for AEW AEW Double or Nothing this Sunday. So I'm going to give you guys the AEW Double Nothing review on highlights this Sunday. And then then um, Saturday, I'm going to give you guys my um, WWE King and Queen of the Ring review on highlights. So yeah, that's all I got to say from here. But tomorrow, I will be going live for some Street Fighter 6. So yeah, make sure you guys get this AEW Dynamite review on highlights. 40, 40 likes in this video. And then I will go live tomorrow for some Street Fighter 6. And that's all I got to say from here. 
But anyway, I want you guys to have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. KFG crew, KFG kings, KFG club, too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. Mwah. Bang. Too sweet. Gang.